Hello everybody! So today we are going to talk about something that is written in one of the many letters in our Bible and that is the body of Christ. Some of you might remember a lesson that we've had on that before in children's church. Some of you might not or some of you might have never been to our children's church depending who's watching this. So I'm first of all gonna um, read a little bit from the Bible and stay tuned because I have a little Lego man that I'm gonna um, use to help us understand what this is all about, okay? All right, so in the Bible it says, a body is made up of many parts, right? And each of them has its own use. That's how it is with us. There are many of us, but we each are part of the body of Christ as well as part of one another. So if you look at this Lego man, I want you to remember two things, okay? So we are called the body of Christ and Jesus is called the head. So why is that? Because a head is connected to a body, right? And that is how it is with us and Jesus. Jesus' spirit lives inside of us, so we are always connected to him, just like this head is connected to this body. So that's number one. And then number two is that we are all different parts of the body and are all connected to each other. You see he has a little hand and an arm. This is not as easy <laughs> as you might think. Just like the hand is connected to the rest of the arm and then the arm to the upper body and the upper body to the lower body, that's how we are all connected to each other. And as the Bible said earlier, is that different body parts have different functions. They're all good at different things. So let's think about, for example, a hand is really good at grabbing things. Your foot's not that great at grabbing things. Your knee, for example, can't grab things at all, right? So different parts of the body are good at different things, right? So we need them all. And that's how it is in our church and the big church in the world, like all the Christians, okay? So we all need each other because we're all good at different things. So this is another part of this letter in the Bible where it talks about some of the examples of what people might be good at. Let's look at this for a second. If we can serve others, so if some people are really good at serving others, we should serve. If we can teach, some people are really good at teaching. We even have some teachers in our church, right? Some of your mommies might be teachers. We should teach. If we can encourage others, we should encourage them. If we can give, we should be generous give a lot. If we are leaders, we should do our best leading and so on and so forth. So I want you to think about some of the examples in our own church. Let's start with that. So for example, Pastor Josh is our leader, right? And he's really good at leading our church in all the ways that he does that. Uh, let's think of something that's specific that he's really good at. He's really good at preaching. He's really good at singing, right? So that helps on Sunday mornings. Um, Deaconess Kathy is really good at organizing things. Just one of her many talents. Mr. James and I do all the kids and youth stuff. And hopefully we're not too bad at that. <laughs> I know for sure that Mr. James is really good at it. Uh, we have some people that are really good at making coffee or making food. Like Miss Karen, for example, Pastor Josh's wife. She's amazing at cooking. Amazing. Um, and so on and so forth. I mean, there's so many people with so many different talents. Some people are really good at decorating, which is really helpful for when we have big events, like our daddy-daughter dance, for example, for all you girls out there. It's really helpful when, when people are good at decorating or making cake pops or whatever it is. Um, yeah, so those are just some of the examples from our own church. Uh, now think about your own family. Think about your friends. What are your family members good at? What's your mommy really good at? 
What's your dad really good at? What's your sibling maybe really good at? And what are you good at? And then the same with your friends. What are some of your friends really good at? And what are the, some things that maybe another person's really good at that you're not so good at? Because that happens too. We're not all good um, with the same things. So for example, in our own family, this is a very random example, okay? <laughs> Since I'm holding a Lego figure, Mr. James is really good at building Lego sets from scratch. So if little James wants us, someone, one of us, to build, I don't know, a car, and if he comes to me, I have to tell him, I'm not good at building Lego things without instructions. So go to daddy and ask him, because he's really good at that. He doesn't need instructions. Growing up, I always just used the instructions. I followed it, followed it to a T and never really learned how to be creative with Legos and just build my own stuff. But Mr. James is really, really good at that. So that's just one of the things I'm not good at, but he's really good at that. So think about some of the examples in your own family and in your own friend circle. And I want to share a little song with you that I learned when I was a child. And in the original, it was a German song, but I realized today that it actually translates well into English and still fits the melody. So I figured I'd share it with you. And if you want to, you can just keep going back and repeating it until you know how to sing the song as well. So this is how it goes. You can do so much that I can't and what you can do, maybe I can. That is why never forget, my friend, I need you. So that is the song. And it talks about how some other people are good at some stuff that I'm not so good at. And then maybe some of the stuff they're not so good at, I'm really good at. And that's why we need each other. And that is what this whole passage in the letter in our, in our Bible today is about. That we all have different talents, we're all good at different things, and that is why we need each other. So I challenge you today, and this week, especially as you're going back to school, some of you, to look at your friends, look at your family members, and think about some of the some of the things that they're good at and that you're maybe not so good at and tell them. Tell them, go to your mom, go to your sibling, go to your friend and tell them, hey, you're really good at this thing, whatever it is. And I'm really not that good at it. So I'm glad I have you in my life. All right, that is uh, my little challenge for today and for this week. And I'm gonna be doing the same with my family. And yeah, I hope you will remember what the whole body of Christ thing is about, the little Lego man. And I hope you enjoyed my little song. And like I said, if you want to just go back and listen to it a couple times, it's a really easy song to learn. Um, and yeah, I hope you remember it too for the rest of your life because I heard it a couple times and I've never forgotten it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week. I hope going back to school for those of you who are is going to be a good experience this week. Bye.